Welcome back to the second part of the video series about the experimental setup with the STG 570 CAN and the STG 700 STEP. I will show and explain to you what you can do with the parts I showed in part 1 of this series. The general idea is quite simple. What we want is that the permanent magnet stepper motor is able to make a 360 degrees rotation. The motor will rotate the same speed and direction as the potentiometer is being twisted. Furthermore, the red and green LED should turn on depending on the rotation direction while the motor is rotating. First we have connected the PLCs, the motor, the LEDs and the potentiometer to the power supply using the power socket. The potentiometer is connected to the SDG 570 CAN. The potentiometer generates an analog voltage signal, which is converted into a digital signal by the PLC. This information is sent to the SDG700 step over the CAN bus interface. In our setup, the yellow and green cable connects the two PLCs over CAN bus interface. The SDG700 step will transmit the received information to the motor. Now, the LEDs, which are connected to the SDG700, will light up depending on the rotation direction. So, when twisting the potentiometer to the right, the green LED will light up, and when twisting to the left, the red LED will light up. See you in the next video how to get started with the graphical programming software MyConnell.